going on beautiful people and welcome back to Peace Love Happiness 101 and today we have another phenomenal video for you guys. Before I start this video I want to ask you guys something. Have you ever sacrificed yourself out of love for somebody? Are you still with that person or wasn't even worth it? Today's video is a little bit delicate because we're going to talk about something that I've seen happening for probably too long and since this channel is all about relationship allow me to talk to you guys about five mistakes that a lot of women make in the intent of keeping a man. This video is completely educational. The purpose of it is to not only educate and help our sisters out there to make better decisions when it comes to relationship. And by that, there's no better way but to get it from a man's perspective. One of the first mistakes that I've seen women make in the intent of keeping a man is to change themselves. There is absolutely no way that you should be changing yourself by trying to keep a man. No way. I don't care if the guy got you from any places and expect you to become something that you're probably not. There's no way for you to change your schedule. There's no way for you to change the way you are. As a matter of fact, if he did like you from the beginning from the way you were, there's no need for you to try to change just because it's in your life right now. By that, I also mean you probably could compromise and set up boundaries on certain things. But the real deal is very simple. You can't tell me just because of a guy, you're going to stop talking to your friends. That doesn't make any sense. You can't tell me just because of a guy, you're going to stop interacting with your family the way you're supposed to. You can't tell me just because of a guy, you can't get any kind of job that's different. And I understand by being in a relationship, there are changes that are going to happen regardless of what. But by changes, it has to be healthy changes. Let's say that we're working our goals. We're trying to buy a house. We're trying to get better. We're trying to be better people. That's different. But if the person is being a dictator, trying to be completely territorial and tell you exactly what you're supposed and what you're not supposed to do, and you find yourself trying to change yourself just to be with that person, this is not healthy. This is not healthy at all. You're going to realize down the road, this was the worst mistake possible. You might find out that everything you were doing, thinking, that was gonna help keep him with you that he could go with somebody else and lower the standard and that's the funniest thing because sometimes the person is gonna require so much things for you and you trying to keep the person you trying to keep the relationship you will do everything in your power to make those changes come to find out the person will go with somebody else and don't even expect them to do anything like that so bottom line is that you were working yourself out of your way to make him happy meanwhile he didn't really care about everything you were doing because he wasn't trying to stay with you from the beginning the second big mistake that I've seen women make that some point I feel like it's a little bit selfish to think about it because if the relationship you have with the person is not good why would you even have that idea by bringing a baby in the mix is gonna change something a baby doesn't change the fact that the guy doesn't see you as a long-term relationship not at all as a matter of fact you're gonna make him run faster if he doesn't want to be with you what makes you think bringing a baby to the mix gonna change anything that's probably gonna bring higher level of stress for him to even think that okay I did not want to be with her to begin with but now there's a baby what am I gonna do for those of you who already have kids you have to understand having a kids is unconditional you have to provide everything to that child love security and by you bringing a baby to the mix the relationship was already not working out you're already working yourself just to make him stay with you but now you're bringing a baby that's basically gonna drive him away even more and now after he's gone, you're going to be left with a baby, not thinking about the huge possibilities that he wasn't even there to begin with. So now there's a baby who's probably going to be dealing with father issues. There's always going to be some situations about insecurities because the relationship wasn't balanced from the get-go. And I know sometimes we're trying to give our babies everything in our mind to make them feel happy. But in order for a baby to grow and do a lot of things and have some balanced relationship between the two of you guys, the mother has to be there and the father has to be there. And by being there, I don't mean that. That they have to be together maybe you guys might not be willing to work it out but he's still taking care of his kids but if he didn't want to stay in a relationship from the get-go by you bringing a kid what makes you think that he's gonna take care of that kid he already been telling you about a lot of things but for some reason you keep making the mistakes of trying to keep him there you're trying to keep somebody there who obviously doesn't want to be there so by you bringing a baby to the mix the thought of having a baby gonna change anything is the worst way to go with the relationship so please do not stop don't ever think about bringing a baby to a relationship gonna make a man stay no 
never work, never gonna work, never did work. So this is my best advice for you ladies. The third mistake that I've seen a lot of women do, and this is basically a common one, this is basically one of the most popular mistakes that I've seen women make, is the fact that you think by being nice to him, is gonna change somehow. Buying him a bunch of stuff, do a lot of things that you're not supposed to do for him, isn't gonna change anything. I've seen women staying in line buying Jordans, buying expensive stuff, just to think that, okay, I'm gonna do everything for him just so he can understand that, okay, I don't want him to be in my life, I don't want him to go anywhere. All this, all that, nobody wants any of that. If he doesn't want to stay, anything that you do, as a matter of fact, he's gonna take your stuff. He's gonna be happy to take your stuff. He's gonna take that PS5, he's gonna take that PS4, he's gonna take that Xbox, he's gonna take them Jordans, he's gonna take everything that you're giving him. The money that you're giving him, yes, yes, keep them coming. I don't have any problem with that. I'm gonna keep taking that. Let yeah, 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 give me all that, give me all that, I'm okay with it. But the reality is simple, it's not gonna stay. By you buying all the stuff, wasting all your money, doing a bunch of stuff that you're not supposed to be doing from the get-go, it's basically a complete waste. It's, it's a complete waste. I don't want you ladies to keep thinking that by you keeping him in a materialistic level is gonna change anything with the relationship. And the weirdest thing about that, somehow you guys already know that the guy doesn't want to be in a relationship with y'all. This is the reality. You already know that, okay, this guy, I don't think he really loves me the way I love him. But for some reason, you keep pushing. Oh yeah, I want him to stay. I want him to stay. I want him to stay, so I'll do everything in my power to keep him. So stop buying them stuff. Stop buying them stuff. If he doesn't want to stay, let him go. You don't know what God has for you. Let him go. Don't keep him around. There's no need for you to keep somebody around or doesn't want to be there. Let him go, please. The fourth thing, for some reason, which probably I understand why a lot of women think that by doing such thing could actually help the relationship or even manage to keep him in, is spend a lot of time or freakier time between the sheets. Yeah, that's something that for some reason I feel like, okay, a lot of women think, okay, if I give him everything between the sheets, there's a reason for me to think that's probably gonna keep him there. You're wrong, you're absolutely wrong. Because you have to understand that a lot of women could actually keep a man between the sheets. That's the first thing I want you to think about. You giving him a lot of things between the sheets, yes, he's probably gonna enjoy it because maybe what you're bringing to the table is different than anybody else, but that has nothing to do with keeping a man. I hope you guys understand that. I'm not trying to throw shades or anything like that, but that's the reality for what it is. Even if you were to do anything between the sheets or in the bedroom, that doesn't mean that it's gonna stay. That doesn't mean anything. I don't care what people think, I don't care what you guys think that you are doing, but this doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. I've seen people do it thinking that, oh yeah, you'll be back. Yes, you'll be back for some more, but it's not gonna be back for you. It'll be back, okay, let's do what you did last night. Uh, I have to go, man, I have a meeting tomorrow. He doesn't have a meeting, he has to go to his wife or to his girlfriend. That's the reality. The girlfriend or the wife is the chosen one. That's why he's always thinking about what to do to come to you and make sure that he leaves after. That's the situation. There's no if but about it, that's the reality. I want you guys really put that in perspective. This is the real deal. This doesn't keep him in. Yes, he'll enjoy everything that you're giving him, but this doesn't keep him in, no way. He doesn't want to stay, he's not gonna stay, and this is not gonna keep him in. So, so far I've given you guys four mistakes that a lot of women make that won't actually keep him in. So the fifth and final one is something that I know you guys are probably too familiar with, is the playing wife material thing. That doesn't work. A man knows exactly who he wants to marry. There's no other way around it. He knows, he already knows. From the first time you guys started dating, he's already known that, okay, this is somebody I wanna spend the rest of my life with. By you doing a bunch of stuff, thinking that, oh yeah, we've been together for ages, blah, 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 this isn't gonna work. This is not gonna work. By you doing a bunch of stuff, thinking that, okay, I'm already acting like a wife, so there's no need for me to even think that somebody else gonna take my throne. But basically, you never had a throne, so there's no need for you to even think about that. There's no throne for you. If you wanted to give you something, you already give it to you. And by by now you have to understand that by you doing all the chores in the house, cooking for him, do a bunch of stuff, this is not gonna work out. I'm sorry to tell you that, but that's the reality. I feel bad about how some men treat some women who are very good women, good people that are trying to have a good relationship and they just don't understand. Maybe they don't have the maturity to understand that you're a good woman to think that one day they're gonna understand that you've loved them deeply. No, if he doesn't want to be there, there is absolutely nothing, nothing that you could do to make him be there. There's nothing you could do. And I'm sorry to say it. I'm gonna keep saying sorry because sometimes I feel bad over how some men treat women to think that, okay, one day he's probably gonna propose, to think that one day we're probably gonna have a big family, get married, travel some places, have fun, be happy. This is not gonna happen. And whatever you do, just because of the fact that you are not the chosen one, 
this will never happen. He could still have fun with you, do a bunch of stuff when he's around you, but when it comes to him staying, if he doesn't want to stay, there is absolutely nothing you could do about it. And before I go, I want you guys to understand one thing and one thing only. Only way a man will be able to stay and be with you is only if he wants to. That's the truth right there. You have it. You got it from me. That's the truth right there. There's no need for you to sit there and let somebody treat you wrong just because you want that person to stay in your life. There's the truth right there. You do whatever you want with it. This is the truth. If he doesn't want to stay, there's no way he's going to stay. The only way he's going to stay is only if he wants to stay. I know this might sound wrong. I know that I'm dropping a lot of things on you right now, but this is the reality. Only way he's going to stay is only if he wants to stay. And if he doesn't want to stay, there is absolutely nothing you could do about it. Nothing. Zilch. There is nothing you could do about it but leave. Please. That's the reality. And the sooner you realize that, the better you're going to be able to move on with your life or probably give yourself time to get to know yourself enough to know how somebody is supposed to love you. And by that, you're going to realize that, okay, I've been doing making all the sacrifices. I've been doing doing all the stuff. So by now, I realize that this guy doesn't want to be with me. There's no way he's going to stay with me because this is his decision. And by me wasting my time, by me trying to push too many things on him, this is still not going to work. If you're watching this video, know that God sent me to you to understand that he doesn't want you to keep wasting your time. This is the truth. He doesn't want you to keep wasting your time. He wants you to really know exactly what's going on. And this is me telling you, hey, yo, this is not working, okay? We'd like to thank each and every one of you guys who've been with us from the get-go. We appreciate the love. We appreciate the support. We appreciate all the comments on each post. And for those of you that are just coming in, we welcome you to the channel. Feel free to look around. And don't forget to leave us a subscribe and hit the notification bell because we have so much more to show you. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Peace.